over the past few days, just since Sunday night, there has been 11 major earthquakes. Seven days, 11 deadly magnitude earthquakes. Now I said, I mean, nobody may have not, not have died particularly in any particular one. But they are a size that kills. And just between Sunday night and now, which is seven days, 11, that has never happened in history. You got to know. But watch this now. What nobody tell us. They don't tell us. Nobody do any analysis. In the past, you know, a couple earthquakes here and there'll be some analysis what has happened in the last quarter. Or they compare this quarter with, with last year quarter. Come on, somebody. Or some kind of analysis. Say it's an up tick or a down tick or, or whatever. Nothing, 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 nothing. All this week, they never see nothing like this. And no analysis. They said, people, something gone wrong. There's a frequency which is not normal. There's a rise in magnitude which is not normal. And that's why the folks begin to go on the website and begin to say, we prefer this than news. Major, major problem, major need, major gap. Those who shall be serving us have run off. Jesus. And the call of God upon your life, listen now, is gone beyond an army of harvesters for world revival. You're ready for this. Okay, you have to fill the gap. The call of God is gone beyond an army of harvesters. And God is looking for an army of evangelists. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. You're going to go beyond just with your soul. you got to replace the media. Their mouth is locked. Yours got to be open. God says in Amos 8:11, He said, In the last days, there will be a famine for the word of God. Translation, famine for truth. God says in these last days, I look for a man. Come on, somebody here. Hallelujah. To stand in the gap. Amen. That what news can't tell you. God going to tell you. I'm losing somebody here. I'm losing somebody here. We just want to be news cohorts and, and news zombies and uh, news cronies. And, and come on, but that ain't going to work. God said, I'm looking for a man to stand in the gap. I'm looking for a woman. I'm looking for a girl. I'm looking for a boy. And God said, don't worry. I'm going to spread a table before you. I'm going to give you a revelation. Riverside. Amen. You don't have to wait. Amen. And somebody to feed you. Come on, somebody. The water going to be there. Come on, somebody. For God said, he that believe it. Amen. Amen. As the scripture has shed, my God of mercy out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. I said, when you are at the riverside, you tend, my God, to get accustomed to the water, my God. When you're at the riverside, you take the water for granted. Come on, somebody. But it's available. For God says, in the last days of the feast, translation, in the last days, I will pour out. Come on, somebody here. Come on, help me, help me, help me. Build the atmosphere, build the atmosphere. Build the, I, I ain't even preaching at you some of. Build the atmosphere. God says in the last days of the feast, glory to God, he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Translation in the last days, I will pour out of my spirit upon all. Receive it, church. Receive.
receive it television receive it internet receive it it's a call hallelujah for an army is a new kind of journalist come on somebody he's a different kind of journalist he's a bible journalist he's a pulpit journalist he's a word of god journalist you are an evangelist